Hi, I am a Bliss Student Tutor. In this video, we will be introducing trigonometric ratios. Trig ratios are special measurements of a right triangle. Remember, a right triangle has one 90 degree angle. Before we begin, I want to throw out a bit of terminology that might make these problems more understandable for you. First, this triangle is composed of two legs and a hypotenuse. The legs are line B and line A. The hypotenuse is the line opposite of the 90 degree angle, so line C. So we have our first term, hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the line opposite of the 90 degree angle. Our next two terms are going to come from the legs, line A and line B. They are going to be adjacent and opposite. Looking at angle A, our adjacent side is going to be B. Adjacent means touching or next to. So line B is touching angle A. And then our opposite side is going to be line A because line A is across from angle A. Now, if we were to look at angle B, our adjacent would then become line A because line A is touching angle B. It is right next to it. And our opposite would be line B because B is across from angle B. So real quickly, hypotenuse is the line across from the 90 degree angle. The adjacent line is going to be the one touching the angle we are looking at. The opposite is going to be the one across from the angle. On the screen, I have labeled a right triangle with hypotenuse opposite and adjacent based off of angle X. Using this, I'm going to introduce the three trigonometric ratios that we look for in 90 degree triangles. We have sine, cosine, and tangent. Again, we're finding the sine of x, the cos of x, the tan of x. And to find all of these, we just need to know the following. The sine is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. The cosine is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And finally, tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. Now, if that's hard for you to memorize, memorize this. So, ka, toa. By memorizing this, you can easily remember that sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. Let's look at a few problems. So for our first problem, we have triangle XYZ, and we are looking for the sine of Z. And we remember from the last slide that sine is so, so sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. And looking at angle Z, the opposite is going to be 27. So that's across from Z. So our opposite, 27. And the hypotenuse is what is across from the 90 degree angle, which is the 45. So, sine Z is equal to 27 45ths. Let's look at another problem, triangle ABC, where we are looking for the cos of A. And from the previous slide, again, we remember that cos is Ka, so cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And our looking at angle A, our adjacent angle is going to be, our adjacent line, excuse me, is going to be 16. So 16, and the hypotenuse is what is across from the right angle, which is 20. So 16 
over 20. And if you would like to simplify that down, you can. So divide both by 4 and 4 over 5. So our, the cos of A is equal to 4 fifths. And I'm sure by now some of you have caught that we left our first problem unfinished because we forgot to simplify. We can divide the numerator and denominator by 7 and further simplify that down to 3 fifths. Now that looks like a final answer, and this has been a quick introduction to the trigonometric ratios. This has been a Bullis Student Tutors video. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to check out the rest of the videos on our page. Thanks for watching! This has been a Bullis Student Tutors video. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to check out the rest of the videos on our page. Thanks for watching!